What's going on, everybody? This is Raw Star of the Burbank Misfits. And of course, um uh your problem this is coming out right after AVNs. As uh some of you saw, um uh we didn't win. You know, honestly, we didn't expect to win, but uh, you know, the nomination, the appreciation from um you all um from for at least you know nominating us, voting for us. Even just getting the nomination was very appreciated. Um, there's no way that we can ever, you know, explain how much gratitude we have for many of you taking your time out of your day to, you know, acknowledge us. Uh, congrats to uh, Plug Talk uh, for uh, winning, you know, and you know they have a very spectacular podcast podcasts and things like that so more power to them and um, before I introduce our guest today I do want to give one big shout out to uh, one of my friends uh, who I've known for a very long time here in New York she won um, best uh, performer and she is the first black woman to win that in the entire 40 years of uh, AVN so a uh, big congrats to her but now to our guest. Uh, we have a, we have someone who's coming back, a really good friend of mine who I've known for uh, a little a little while. I'm not gonna say how many years. A, a little while. Uh, met her a long time ago. She's been on a podcast before. Miss uh, Bella Maori. Hey Bella. Hey, hey, that star. What's up? It's good to be back again. It's always a pleasure. It's always a pleasure to have you. Know, I'm great. You know, I had a birthday, had a had a New Year's. You know, my bills just won. You know, um, prayer mm -hmm. for um Demar. You know, my bills just won. You know, having a great day. <laughs> Congratulations on your nomination. That's that's great. Well, um, well, I'm well. Thank you for the nomination. Like what I'm saying, like you know, we didn't win, but you know, I feel that you know, there's one. There's always next year. And mm -hmm. then, and then too, there's there are other award shows that you know may nominate us as more you know more um, of these shows are now like more of the porn related shows are nominating um, porn related podcasts. So there's more that are coming up, and there's ample opportunity for us to fall into one of the categories. So you know, it's an honor, a privilege, and there's. Like, until I die, no one can ever take away from us that, you know, we got nominated for, you know, even get, even received the honor. So that's why I always say win or lose, it's, it was, it was an honor, you know, so. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think, I think just being recognized, you know, that's, that's fantastic. That shows mm -hmm. that like your, your hard work is, is not going in vain, right? Um, people are recognizing what you do and how much how impactful it is in the industry. So again, congrats and um, look forward to you getting nominated and winning next year. If we if we win, <laughs> if we if we win, I will take I will take Bella on an all expense paid trip to Hawaii. If what? we win, oh God! Okay, you gotta win because I'm gonna be back. <laughs> So that's, I love that's the goal. Hawaii, dude. Y'all hear, hearing Hawaii. this now. So if we win in 2024, I will take Bella out on an all expense paid trip to Hawaii. Oh, matter of fact, I, I just I, I just might get I might just give her my credit card and just let her go by herself so she can get what? Safe. Oh God. Okay, so <laughs> you have to win. I'm getting ready to start a campaign. The campaign starts tomorrow. Okay, it started tomorrow. <laughs> Next year. <laughs> Yeah. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god. No, but it, you know, it, it, man. No, because like, you know, I, I think one you will enjoy that. But two, you know, at the end of the day, I would say I was what I always say. I think think it's you know, I take nothing for granted. And I've been around this porn industry for for 14 years now. You know, 14 years going on 15 this year. And it's one, that's crazy. That's 15 years. Jesus Christ. And two, it's like, you know, <laughs> since I'm not in the, you know, I don't, not in the movies, I'm just always on the cusp. 
it's it's just great, you know, just you know, just being finally like getting like a, a nomination for something and my name just being out there for a second, you know, even if it's uh for this and you know, yeah, I'm happy. I'm you happy. Did they um did you get a chance? Well, I don't know if it aired, aired or not yet, but um, did anybody record like them saying the nominees or they um uh, when it when it came to the fan <clears throat> nominations, mm -hmm. um they only said who won. So oh, okay. um they, they it was live Aww. last night. So I watched it last night and they just said mm -hmm. who won. But honestly, it was a lot of podcasts that were nominated, you know. And How many? too many. I don't like know the exact one number. To 10, 10 to 20. It's probably 10 to 20. Oh, that is a lot. But I believe like in and I said I said this before. Um I believe some of the podcasts that were nominated, they were they're more vodcast than podcasts. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but I feel that sooner or later they will get to the point where they separate the two. Mm-hmm. You know, because oh, like I know what you mean. Don't get, don't, don't, mean. don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. I believe, like, because I because I've seen um like my my friend Nathan, he does a vodcast. He does cooking with Nathan, and it's mm -hmm. only it's only video. He doesn't um spread it out like I'm doing now. Like with you, he doesn't spread it out on like um like a, a speaker or Apple. You know, Apple. Uh, help me out iTunes. He doesn't spread mm -hmm. it out like that. It's only on video, which is nothing wrong with that because I've seen it before and it's a great show. And I highly recommend it. The thing, the thing is, it's like those, there are two different uh, formats, you know? Mm -hmm. So, and like when it comes to uh, Plug Talk, they do both, you know? Mm -hmm. So I feel it's like it's a, it's a different um, setup, you know? Right. Even even oh with, wait, plus talk wait that's on um YouTube right? It's with yeah, Adam Twenty Two uh, yeah. and his wife, right? Yeah, okay. and they, and and those and those people that's that's who won. But also, if I'm correct, uh, they actually they all they also have sex on there too. Oh, they have sex on the plus talk. I think they do too. If I'm correct, I think that. You, like, have, you have to pay for a subscription yeah, to do that. Yeah, it's a pay for oh, stuff like that. that's but it's like, there. but it's also like, yeah, you have that, and then you also like, hey, don't get me wrong, like, like, a, like if I want to say a few of my friends were nominated, like, uh, and now we think we had Matt Slayer on. He's a fellow podcaster. His mm -hmm. podcast is great, and he does both video and audio. So, but 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 like both of those follow that. At least they put it up on iTunes format, you know. So that's the right. only thing. That's the only thing that I believe needs to be changed a little bit. Um, just so like, for example, like it's it's more fair to like Nathan, for example, who only does the video type vodcast, and they can he can be in his own category and have a better chance mm -hmm. of winning right. when it comes. And it, yeah, so that's that's all. But other, yeah, other, so other than, saying, yeah, go ahead. What? Well, I'm sorry, you're saying, so what you're saying is they should separate the broadcast from the podcast? What would they do? That's a good idea, but what would they do with the people that are combined? Would they be in both? Yeah, I mean, like, I, be I, believe, I believe that... Uh, you know what I mean? I believe that if you only, if you only do video, mm -hmm. then it's different from doing uh, video and audio. Because, like, I'm starting to do video and audio. Like, yours and one other would probably be my last few... I do one more on right now. This okay. one and probably one other will be my last few uh only doing um only doing audio. Mm -hmm. And like that's why we have set up the uh we've set up a uh what do they call it? Um a studio? A Patreon. Oh, okay. So the Patreon will basically have the video on there also. And um, we're doing one in person in a few weeks. And that one's going to be video. So that's, oh, where, we're, that's where, we're, cool. where we're going to. Going to right. I'm forward to doing one in person because I'm like, to be honest, I know we just got over the pandemic and everybody was doing everything on video and on, um, you know, on 
Zoom and all these other video streams, but I miss like, you know, interacting, like that human connection, you know? Yeah, I mean like um, going into somewhere. I mean, there's and... there's ways that you can do it like like for example, like right now, um mm -hmm. we're we're on over Zoom, whatever, and you can I can do this over Zoom and yeah. I can just highlight your highlight your your video. Like if you know, given 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 circumstances, I could have highlighted your video and you'll be the only thing that's being seen right now. And it would just been spotlighted spotlighted on you going forward. And that's the way that we're going to go forward with this. Okay. And um yeah, and it just makes it, you know, more interactive and people can, you know, see what you look like, see your facial expressions and things like that. And there's but there's there's a few people who I wish oops, just dropped my headphones. I who I wish uh we did that with. Um, mm -hmm. during at least, especially during the pandemic, because I feel that a lot of uh, a lot of the we ha we've had on, like gi given given what occurred <laughs> on some of the on some of those podcasts, I feel that uh, the people who listen to us probably would have really enjoyed them. Mm -hmm. Um, like for example, uh, like. If you were if you're a fan of Misha Montana, like that entire podcast is just interesting looking at her facial expressions, or if you're a fan of uh a, a trans like trans TS, we had a uh, Kimber Haven on, and that entire Kimber Haven conversation was funny. And he like and they even flashed us. Um oh, wow. <laughs> while we but were you on. can't see that if it's just audio. Yeah, you yeah. can't see that it was just audio. And mm -hmm. like we had we had somebody accidentally flashed or hoo-ha. They did it by accident. Oh wow. But like okay. <laughs> that would have been that would have just meant out there, you know? Right. That was so fun. Yeah. So I mean like it's just little little things like that. And don't be mm -hmm. wrong, I'm not trying to make it so like I want to see nudity or whatever, you know. Like oh, come on, bro. You know you want to see it. I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> and this and this and this is this is this is my viewpoint as somebody this is my viewpoint as somebody who has worked around porn for a long time, you know. Um there are certain people who I say that's a nice picture. Like I like I don't mind looking at it, but I don't have I don't want to go out and seek it, you know? Because yeah. like, yeah, you mean, know, I'm like at the end at the end of the day, I am a single male. So looking at uh, looking at TAP, I love it, but it's not something that I'm like, okay, I'm doing this podcast so I can see TAP. Right. I mean, I'm, because it's business. It's oh, and I'm sorry, that. everybody. If you don't know what TAP is, that's <laughs> T's, um, A S S and uh, pussy. I think everybody knows what that. Right. It's T A. Okay. Yeah, I know. Tap. That. Tap. Right. Tap. Yeah. Yeah. You, I didn't know until you told me though before. What is that? Tap. And then I was like, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Love tap. Yeah. yeah. And, mm -hmm. and yeah, so, because, yeah, and the thing is, it's like that has only occurred, it's only popped up like probably like five, four or five times on a podcast. And most of the times it was, except for once, except for, except for Camber Haven. Um, was by accident, so right. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. anyway, we're gonna talk, we're talking talk about you. So who who was who was like for for the people who heard the first one but don't know the updated Bella because the for the first time we had you on was season one. We're in season five, so a lot, a lot has changed. <laughs> who I know what what is give us give us the update on, on the on the on the on the Bella story. I know. Oh my god! I can't believe I was. Yeah, what is season one? Oh my god! Season, yeah, season um, one. You were like the, I want to say probably episode fourteen or something like that. Oh my god! Yeah, a lot has happened over that time. I mean, I don't even. Okay, so, oh gosh. <laughs> so now, um, because I think before when I came on there, I wasn't doing all the things I'm doing now. But um, yeah, when you came when you came but, on, I think you were. Like, you, you weren't doing none of the stuff you're doing now. No. I, think, 
I think I think at most, at most you were uh yeah, at, at most you were still just taking pictures and you right. were I think back then you were trying to get on um yeah, you were yeah, you were doing other stuff. Well, we should get no because I don't want to talk about that. No, I was, I was, I was, I was, okay. thinking, I was thinking about um, Playboy. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, okay, yeah. I, now I, I don't know if you think I, was, I don't know if you think I was thinking. Um, wait, my AirPod fell out. Okay. Um. Yeah. No. Oh my gosh. Um. You know, it's you. It, I, I told you I blame you, Ra, for getting me into all this stuff. But um. Anyways. Uh. Yeah. I've been camming. I've been writing and um, producing and directing, and I. On a side note, it was it was episode fifteen and sixteen of our first season. So. Oh, 15? Okay. Fifteen and sixteen. So, so that means what, eight, twelve. That means you were on the you were you came in the fourth month we were doing the podcast. Probably not even the fourth mm-hmm. month because we were doing two episodes at once back then. Mm-hmm. You probably came in probably during the second month, so we were still trying to decide what the heck we were doing. So go right. ahead. It go was ahead. in that gym. I it remember was, it was in that gym. Yes, that's uh, that's CC Fitness. Mm-hmm. I was in the gym. Yeah. Um, no, I mean I've been. Um, like I said, I, you know, I've written and produced and directed my. My own pilot, and we won ten film festival awards. Um, I'm now I'm a the name is called Ugly. Yeah, it's called Ugly. <laughs> um, and um, that was that was pretty great. Um, I am a content creator for Playboy Centerfold, and I am also um, camming. And um, I've been in B Camp magazines two times. And I'm doing really well camming and creating content. And it's just been a just been a um just a steady uh progression. Um just moving forward in my career. A lot has happened. I'm so excited. Um so yeah. So y'all, I haven't had the opportunity to uh see like a full the full aunts of uh the show called Ugly, but I did see a few, you know, clippets. And it, mm-hmm. it's it looks it looks it looks it looks good. So like if you see it at a festival, or whatever, I highly recommend you know you uh, take a second out to support um, Bella here because like she is a young beautiful woman doing doing her thing, her doing doing her dang thing. You know she's not using any any excuses or why she's not doing this and that and like. Since me and her are good for like me and her have been good friends for a while. So like I hear everything that she's doing and um all she's trying to accomplish and she's going after it. So just knowing all that and just knowing like each goal that she's hitting and each one that she's uh going after now from you know from doing the movies, like and you look at her profile, it's it says that she's getting her doctorates. You know, she she does a lot, you know, and a lot of the stuff she does, she does for her fans out there who enjoy, you know, either her acting or her content or, you know, anything that she does. So, yeah, go out and check check that out and stuff like that. So and I know um, for everybody out there who doesn't know what Ugly is about, um, she plays a character called Zuri and give us more details. I know it's about, you know. The realization of you know of people, you know, just have issues with certain people because of uh, their color. Right. Okay. Yeah. It's called ugly, and um, it, it was just a test pilot. Actually, I just wanted to see like what it would do, and I never thought it would do anything. To be honest with you, I was just wanted to just um tr- try it out. You know, write something and produce it and direct it and see what happens but I just I never in my wildest dreams thought it would win 10 film festival awards but um I'm just so blessed and thankful for that but Zuri um is a character um in the pilot episode who she's a dark-skinned um actress and um she uh you know is trying to navigate through you know Hollywood and 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 make her way and and get to be a lead and you know, all that good stuff, you know, and, and just the whole grind of trying to make it in Hollywood. And she 
stumbles across a lot of situations where she can't do it because, well, she can do it, but it's, it's extremely challenging because she's dark skinned. And so um, I think what, um, what started this was me also being, you know, of the um, dark skinned black girl, um, some of those skin? issues. <laughs> no, I'm like, <laughs> well, I'm not light skinned. Yeah, I know. I'm, 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 being, I'm, I'm being funny. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, I, oh, okay. I, I didn't get the joke. I was just all got it. <laughs> so I'm trying to be serious right now. Oh, no, um, go ahead. So, um, you know, I think there was this, it was a parallel in that. And, you know, there were just some situations where um, I was treated different on sets. I won't say where or who or anything like that, but um, I was treated different because of my skin tone and like the lighter skin girl were put in front and you know there was like no shame in that and you just that's just how it is <clears throat> and it was just very um disheartening and discouraging I never let it stop me I always kept moving forward but I just wanted to tell that story and I didn't realize how many people it resonated with because not only did it resonate with people in the black community but I got messages from Asian from Hispanic from Indian from you know all different um ethnicities saying yeah you know we deal with colorism too, and I'm so glad of what you're doing. So it's, I'm so happy that it was able to reach, you know, a broader audience. And um, so basically she's just trying to find herself, find her black identity and see where she fits in in Hollywood amongst all this madness. And so um, it's sort of like a dark comedy because some things aren't supposed to be funny, but it is, but she goes through this thing. I think there's um, in some, in, in the first episode, she's on a video set music video set and she gets put to the back because she's dark skin and then they put all the light skin girls in the front. And so um, I just wanted to get a conversation and start talking about that. And people were talking about it. I didn't realize how big of a, um, of a topic that is that people were like, yeah, you know, that's, that's, a, that's the issue, you know? So um, yeah, I mean, I just, right now, um, I can't really say much about it, but um, we're trying to put it into a feature film. So, um, that's sort of like where it's going now. And I'm really excited about that. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, uh, I think the last time I was here, we were talking about, um, because I, I think that I just started the PhD program. I can't remember, because I was no, so, I know, like, I know the last, militant. The last, like, I think, I think it's like, <laughs> last, last time we were here, we had uh, two different podcasts, um, because the thing is, like, back then, when I had you on the first time, Mm-hmm. We uh used to do get some like if you were interesting, um and uh, we just ran out of time for like because we usually try to do this for an hour, you know do a do a quick hour or whatever, and if it goes longer, we see that it's going to be you know a very interesting conversation, or we get stuck on something, and um by the time we get to the nitty gritty it's over or whatever. We tried to do two episodes. And I know mm-hmm. for you, we talked about S&M for the first episode. Mm-hmm. And then yeah, we I talked remember. about uh, social, justice. social justice. Social right? justice. Social justice yeah. for the second one. So uh, it was those two different type of episodes that we had uh, for you. And the thing is, is like what your uh, pilot is about, your movie is about, whatever, is piggybacking upon the uh, social injustice. And uh, when it comes to what your talk topic is, it is still relevant because the thing is this, even like, because you said like in acting or whatever, but if you look at, you know, like earlier, I, I mentioned uh, Kira New York um, winning uh, the first black woman to win this award for AVN. And it's uh-huh. been 40 years since it happened. And that just makes you look at, you know, all the people who should have or could have won it beforehand. If you look at, uh, and I don't know if I said this the last time, when you look at uh, uh, people who won the award for uh, for Best Actress, and this is mainstream, the first person to win it was uh, Holly Berry, and the first dude to win it was Denzel Washington. And right. the thing is, is like, if you look at the roles that they play, is a, a stereotypical black mm-hmm. person negative role, and like yeah. the, the dirty cop, and um, excuse my French, uh, they made her play a hoe. 
Yeah. Well, they made her like. Yeah, she was a hoe. I wouldn't say she was a hoe. I would say they made her hyper hypersexual. And there's like the scene uh, where. Well, yeah, I mean no, because. But I, uh, this, no, 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 no. Let me let me explain. <laughs> let me explain. I don't think she was a hoe because she was having sex. I think no, I they mean, made like, her hypersexual, and that's off. That's often a um. You know what they do to to black women characters is because for some reason they think black women are sort of like this primitive, overly sexed, uh, just you know all you want to do is just have sex, and um, I think so. Um, but yeah, no, I think you know there's just this idea that black women are just you know like I said primitive and always just want to have sex and it's, it's just like this hypersexual sexuality. When I, when, I, when, I say, when, I, when, I, when I say a hoe, I meant like mm -hmm. basically they made her promiscuous, promiscuous, but they also to justify like her releasing her stress from losing mm -hmm. her son. Yeah, I want it bad. I want it bad. Did she like? And even though she was like uh, she was nude in mm -hmm. um the movie right before it, <laughs> mm -hmm. she was nude in this one too. Mm -hmm. This one got more recognition than the other one. Yeah. Wait, are you talking about um Swordfish? Yes. Where she was top. You know what? I have an issue with that one because I don't know if you picked up on this or not. This we're on the social justice tip. Um the way I had a problem with the way they had her die in that movie, you know, they put a noose around her neck and she died from from that. So to me, I just felt like I don't know if it's just me, because you know, I know I could be a little conscious and I look at everything kind of like from that perspective, but I thought that was kind of strange. I mean, did you did you do you remember that? I didn't. I didn't watch movie? the movie. I just knew she was. Yeah, sick. she died with a noose. They put a noose. Uh, she was hung, so she had a noose around her neck. And I always thought that was very uncomfortable for me to watch that. So, um, yeah, that was in Swordfish. That was crazy, but it just shows you how they like like what you said with you know Kira Nor. You know, finally a black woman went after forty years. I mean, that's like, that's insane. Like, yeah. So, like, like oh in retrospect, goodness. in retrospect, that's my entire lifetime. <laughs> that's insane. I know that must have been really nice for her. Um, congrats. I don't. I, I don't know. I've run, I've seen her at a few a uh, couple events, but I don't. I haven't met her. But um, congratulations to her. Yeah, like I know many people. Success. Many people were was one surprised she won. Mm -hmm. Two were surprised it wasn't somebody else in particular. I'm not going to get into politics and say her name. Mm -hmm. And um, three just didn't think that she deserved to win. It was crazy. Like just reading mm -hmm. all the comments, it's crazy. And like, but everybody else was really happy that she won. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I have like a uh, like, oh my god, a, a level of respect for performers. I mean, um, I mean, I'm not a performer in this industry, but I, you know, I do create adult content and just kind of seeing, you know, the hard work that goes into it. And I mean, these these actresses, they work hard, and um, I know there's always been like this thing where black women they they don't get paid as much they don't get as much promotion and things like that so i'm really happy that that that's changing and we're starting to see yeah because a lot, um, a lot of the people some diversity. Are, are not you know there's their self-growth so they have to self book yeah. for everything mm -hmm. you know so mm -hmm. it's, it's 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 always really hard like so far in your in your aspect of your career what do you think has been the hardest thing um gosh it it's everything um i just uh i i just feel like everything because it's you, it's like you're competing with how can i say this um well i mean it's kind of like what we talked about earlier where black women aren't normally the chosen one right it's always some like token you know, i'm always like a token black girl or or you know it's something like that you're always in competition with with you know, I don't know how to say. <laughs> no, because like, say, but... because like, I also agree. Um, and one big thing that goes on to what you're saying, uh -huh. and um, it makes me put it like this. So your your uh, movie, 
mm-hmm. is about you know the roles that people get um because or don't get because of how dark they are mm-hmm. i'm in a i'm in a um a, like a, a a tv show that wasn't aired or hasn't aired yet but i'm in a tv show and the main person is talking about that they don't get booked because they how can I phrase this? They're in the in that in that middle cusp of they're not mm-hmm. dark enough to be mm-hmm. called black, but they're mm-hmm. not light enough to be called white. Mm-hmm. So both of y'all fall in that in that in that area. Because you can't mm-hmm. be too dark and you can't be too medium. Because yeah, exactly. Those, you, because you have to be medium or you have to be white. Right, or, right. Then, I, but, oh my and God, then, I and agree. Then, and, then, and if you're not white, you have to be, you know, that that Latina and not stuff like that. And then you can't, like, it's harder. You have to, you have to be, you know, mm-hmm. and I don't mean this in no disrespect, so I just don't know how to phrase this. You either have to be the butch type Mm-hmm. Anger, ang- anger, Latina, or mm-hmm. you have to be that feisty one that always wants to fight Latina. Those yeah, are, yeah. Are it's, it's like, a don't, get, don't get me wrong. There, there's a few actresses mm-hmm. or whatever that don't that aren't in that category, you know. But mm-hmm. then if you look at it like that, you're always like, or or I've got one, or you had to be that really, really, really religious, uh, Catholic type Latina. And those are the three roles they have for them mainly. And then yeah. when it comes to black women, you if you're it is harder for a black woman. This is just from observation. And I could be wrong because I'm not a um no, I have a penis and mm-hmm. I'm a male. Um from my, from my <laughs> you're, from, you're not a penis. You're not a penis. For 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 what from 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 what I see. When it comes to black women, it is harder for you all to get roles where you do not have to be someone who once was in the ghetto or once or like or like even if you're even if you're educated, even if you are the smartest person on this earth, you have that mentality of like, oh, I came from here. And now I'm here. And if you're not that, you're kind of like that, that lot, that like over, over, overly loud individual. And I say loud, I don't know how to phrase it, but that overly, you know, aggressive individual. No, I totally agree. I totally agree. And while you were saying that, I actually thought of something like, um, because you know, I'm a mainstream actress and I audition all the time for roles. And what I've noticed is, when I have my hair, because I've, I've talked to, to, to uh, a couple of people about this before, when I have my hair like in a natural state, like curly, um, kind of kinky curly, I get booked for a lot of jobs for like commercial work, uh, you know, um, industrial jobs, uh, industrial work. But if I have my hair like straight or wear weave or something like that, I don't get the bookings if I go for those same jobs. And so what's happening now is that and this is crazy. I think because you really have to pay attention to it to see it. Because I, I don't, I know it's there, but I'm, you know, if you just start look, maybe if you start looking at it from here on out. But because they're trying to have like this inclusion thing in Hollywood now, where they're saying, you know, everybody needs to be included. You know, we need to give more black people roles. So now what they do is they'll take a black girl who's ethnically ambiguous. So. She'll be really, 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 really light skinned, and then they'll put her hair in like the the kinky curly hair. So now what is happening is girls that naturally have that hair texture, I'll say four C hair, who are dark skinned like myself. Now I'm competing against a white girl because sometimes they even do it to white girls. The, the girl will be white, and then they'll put on her like I don't know if they're putting a weave in her hair or they're putting a wig on her, but she's having that kinky curly hair. So that it's kind of like their way of saying, okay, here's our diversity, right? So we still don't have to put, you know, a dark skinned girl in this role. And so I just thought that was just so crazy. And so I just started seeing this everywhere. And I'm like, there's certain, you know, shows that are on, 
that'll have like the really, really light skinned black girl where you don't really know if she's black or not, but you're kind of thinking she might be black because her hair is like kind of kinky. But then you're just like kind of confused, like, wait, but what? You know, so it's like they're giving them the role. So you can't say, well, you know, there's no diversity. And then they're still not putting black women in these, you know, like a, a regular black, full black sister in these roles. And so I say, if you want to talk about challenges, I think that that's a big challenge because I don't, I don't really understand this dynamic that's happening. And so I either have to be super, super sexy, like this sexy siren, you know, to get, to get certain, um, roles that are like that or I have to be super super like black and ethnic and conscious and you know forcey hair and all that and even with that I still have to compete against someone that could either be white you or be, be very you very, be, very you have to be Queen hair. Latifah in uh, House Party too. I don't remember that I don't remember that movie I know she was she was she was real she was really uh she was really, uh, you, you know how Queen Latifah was when, in during her UNITY days. So that like conscious, kinda, yeah, you'd be super uh -huh. conscious. Yeah, 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 be, yeah. Be, with the with the queen hat on and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so you have to, yeah. to be that, you know. Yes. So if you know when you ask about challenges, I would say you know because I've been in this industry for a long time. Oh my god, and I've I've in terms of like how the industry have cha has changed because you know my team are always coming up with different strategies on how I can book more jobs and become more commercial or you know getting more movies and all this kind of stuff but the way the formula is now that the way that they're doing it with all this diversity stuff most of the roles that I'm getting from my agent when I'm trying to audition it'll say um you know African-American and it'll say butch lesbian or um like I mean, you, you said it and, and, like, and like you played one of those roles i already played one yeah i played one of those before yeah and then or it'll say um they just for some reason the if you have to be dark skin in these roles you have to be tough and rough and, and like overly strong and stuff and i'm like dude you know i don't want to play those roles all the time because that's not realistic just because you're a black woman just because you're dark skin doesn't mean you, you just it's crazy so mm -hmm. I guess that's why, you know, I feel really um, the content, but I'm not a like porn performer. So I'm able to speak like, in the porn industry or in the, I won't say porn, I'll say adult industry. It's a little more, you know, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter, you know, how dark, skin, well, it's, you know, it could matter how dark skin you are, but it's not as bad as it is in mainstream Hollywood. And so, um, yeah, I would just say you know, I mean, that. Like, and, and I would say this, and this is just from me working with it. Mm -hmm. It's kind of worse. In the adult industry? Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I mean, maybe because I'm not in mm -hmm. porn for the, 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 the difference is for, for you and your content, you're mm -hmm. creating your own content um, for your viewers. So your viewers and your fi fans and your mm -hmm. subscribers. So it's going directly to them. When it comes to somebody who's uh, in an agency, whatever, and mm -hmm. they are trying to get booked for whatever, um, many other roles either go to the exact same person, and um, and if they don't, like it goes to the exact same breed, and they're playing certain roles. Mm -hmm. And then you have certain certain um, things that people are having an issue with right now. Like, and this is not me saying that, but this is uh, what everybody's complaining about. Um, like, for example, some people have issues with the company called Black. You know, some people... I've heard of that company. I've heard of it. Uh, yeah, just yeah. from seeing, like, different interviews and stuff, but I don't know a lot about, like, what's going on. Well, but basically, it's, you know, it's... It's cool. usually... Um, the small, the small, small girl, whatever... And then a big, a big black dude with a, you know, big dick. With a massive and, size penis. Yeah, yeah. With a, with a, with a, with a seven up, seven up bottle. With mm -hmm. no, with with this, they have one. Of with those. a third, like a third if, leg. If you, if you, if you can see, see my, <laughs> my, my camera's on now. So if you like, they have this connected to their body. Mm -hmm. And, and uh. It seems like it's kind of. I, I know exactly. And what yeah, you're and, that, and, that, and that's what mm -hmm. it is. And then also you have like certain companies, even. 
even people have issues with uh, zebra girls. And, you know, that's, that's it. Like, and that's the thing that's just girl, girl. And basically, it's like, you know, this world, like zebra, you know, black and white. And then, like, I mean, it's just little thing. And then, like, they can't, you can't even use the term IR anymore. They got mm -hmm. rid of that. And I believe, oh, really? I, yeah, like, they're not supposed to, they still, they still use it. Mm -hmm. You're not supposed to use it anymore because um, it's interracial, because right. it's a big, big thing. Because, <clears throat> for example, some people wanted more money to work with a black person. And that yeah, went, I knew about all that. That yeah. went, that probably stopped, I think I want to say 2021. So that's just like wow. two years ago, and it's not even not even two years because it was in the middle of the year. So, right. and I think a lot of, a lot of the stuff like now it's probably two thousand and twenty. A lot of the stuff changed during you know COVID because you know the awareness of everything, and that's that's one one thing that changed. And right. even even with Kira, like only winning like first one winning after forty years, and like. Like I know the first person who won as a director, you know, and a black director, yeah, black director, yeah, mm -hmm. that was a uh, that was Alexander Devoe, and it's kind of like so many things that go into you know when it comes to porn or when it comes to mainstream acting, whatever, it's like so many stereotypical roles, you know, yeah, and, yeah. Then, I, and then I know, mm -hmm. and then the, like a the, the, the few ways you can get away with it. Is like be it like as you as you talk as you talk about in your uh, movie whatever, or head adding your movie whatever, is that is is a big difference with the color of the skin. Yeah, yeah, it seems it's it's it seems to be an issue that's multi layered for sure. Unless right? unless <clears throat> their friends are putting them in movies. I mean that you know that always happens too. I mean. No, I mean like, there, like the, there, 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 there's there's certain roles that, for mm -hmm. example, if if I was if I was doing a big blockbuster movie and I said, okay, I really want Bella, I really want Bella to be a part of it, and um, what am what 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 am what am I going to do? Oh, I'm going to put her in something that I want her to do, not something that's stereotypical for what I want her to do, and that's only like you see that a lot of movies that like. For example, um, yeah, for movies that people have all their friends in every movie, yeah. you see this, you see, you see that trend. But if it's mm -hmm. not that, it's this and that, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, <clears throat> you brought up a really interesting point about like the interracial thing because I, like, I'm really like seeing a lot of. I mean, I'm new to seeing a lot of the stuff that's going on, and it's almost like. I don't want to say racist, but it appears to be racist when they have like the small white girl with the big black book, black guy with the big penis. Like it's just, and I don't know, it, it is a little uncomfortable, but at the same time, it's like black people have to work too, you know? And so mm -hmm. what other roles are there? If you want to be a contract star, then I guess you have to, do those types of, of movies, you know? It's, it's, it's really uncomfortable to to see coming from a social justice um, perspective. Mm -hmm. But then also, you know, Black people need to work and they should be able to get, be given, you know, the big Fair contract jobs and all that stuff too. But look, look, look what you have to compromise at the same time. So, you know, I think there, there should be some changes in that. But... Um, but I'm so happy for Kira, and um, hopefully it, it, it'll be a pattern of, of more of that to come. So more than 40 years, right, down the line. <laughs> On a side note, I just, I, just, I just thought about something really quick, and I want to throw this out. This is just like a big interruption. Um, this, is, this is coming out on uh, January 9th. And I just want to say, if anybody out there who listened to this, blue fire, blue fire to my fright out there. Happy Founders Day. But anyway, back to the subject. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, Happy Founders Day. <laughs> I just, I just thought, thought about like, wait, wait, this is coming out January. I know. Now. You know what? I yesterday I was like, I'm gonna forget to wish my frat brothers, you know, um, Happy Founders Day. 
And then you just brought it up. I was like, oh my God, I forgot. Because mine is coming up too. So. Yeah. So. Okay, yeah. back on topic. Yeah, like, if, if I, just, I, just, I, just, know, I just, 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 uh, you gotta let people know what we're talking about. Like we're, I'm know, sorry, divine nine. They might not know what that is. For people out there who do not know what's going on, I'm a part of a fraternity called Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated. It was founded January 9th, nineteen fourteen, at Harvard University by um the most honorable um Abram Lexington Taylor, um, most honorable Francis. <laughs> 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 Francis Morris and uh, Charles Ignatius Brown, and they found a fraternity called Five of the Incorporated. Our colors are blue, uh, royal blue, and pure white. We are uh, constitutionally bound with a sorority called Zeta Phi Beta. Um, their uh, their uh, founders are uh, I won't say most honorable. I don't know what they call them, but you know, um, Arizona Cleaver, uh, Myrtle, and Viola Taylor. Um, and I'm missing two. Petty Petty and Pearl Neal were the other two. Yeah. I was looking. I didn't look it up. Had you didn't look, it up? <laughs> didn't look it up? I had no, to think for a second. Good. That was all of them. Petty Petty and Pearl. That's all five. I had to think the last two. I, I remember in that way. Arizona Ours Cleaner. Is on the 16th. Ours, is huh? on the 16th. Ours, is, huh? ours is coming up on the 16th. So. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I didn't so we're con- it's called we're constitutionally bound as brothers and sisters, and we're the only um sorority and fraternity. Yeah, the we're, the nine only, that's we're the only bound. divine nine. <laughs> we're the only we're the only Greek. Now I want to take that back to the back. So I know of one that was bound, but they weren't national. You know, they weren't mm-hmm. they weren't in a panhel. They weren't in a panhel panhellenic. Mm-hmm. Council. They were a Christian organization, and they were together. right. I, mean, I think you you forgot Fanny Petty Watts too. No, I said Fanny Petty. I said you Fanny said Fanny Petty. Petty. I didn't say. I, oh, I don't okay. know. I don't know their married names. Oh, okay. So when I say Ariz, like when I say uh, Arizona the Cleaver, regular Arizona that's, Cleaver. Yeah, when I say Arizona Cleaver, Cleaver, and I said Fanny Petty and Pearl Neal. Fanny Petty. Yeah. And, and I said, okay. um, yeah. Pearl and Neal. And you know what's crazy? I just had post traumatic stress. <laughs> from being a lot being online because i was number one and i had to ace know club? all this stuff and make sure everybody else knew all the stuff you know i was ace huh? i was ace you was an ace too yeah yeah but anyway we got off the beating path ace, but... ace club of uh ace club of uh <laughs> Empire. Club. yeah speaking of that uh my friend my friend is too my line brother represent all the way always on the billboard charts Oh, so throw that out there. My line brother, my, my number, my number uh, four. What's is, his name? Um, MC Nice. He's always like he's a kid does Christian music, and he okay, does a radio okay. show in uh, all of Atlanta. Nice. And, he's, and, he, and he's constantly winning that. He's on the he's on the Crash soundtrack, and um, he actually has uh two platinum records because he worked on the Better Days CD of Tupac and Nas. So he has uh, oh. two platinum records because of that. Nice. See, you know, that's, yeah. I'm, I'm not surprised by that. Cause so, yeah. Sigmas my, are just like. That's my, that's my line, bro. Represent all day. <laughs> shout, out, shout out to MC Ninth, a.k.a. Uh, Blue Notes. Sigmas used to always win all the step shows. In my opinion. <laughs> not when I was in college. And <laughs> they would always in win. My, in my opinion, um, at my school, it was a toss up mm-hmm. always between the alphas and the um, sigmas. Sigmas, yeah. Sigmas and alphas. Yeah, they could step their asses off. But anyways, um, <laughs> yeah, I, you know, every time I go in here, we we always have some type of like social justice. I love it. Uh, conversations, um, which is really different from other other podcasts that talk about you know adult entertainment or. When it comes to yeah, we're going to come here to talk about social justice because you know that's our. That's our stitch. Yeah, I mean, we I, we get really passionate about this, but it's it's a lot going on, and um, sometimes I hate that I be I'm aware of all this stuff. You know how they say ignorance is bliss, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, because it's like you can't watch anything anymore or 
or see anything without having that perspective and seeing what, what it really is. And it kind of mm-hmm. be like, dang, dang it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, I, I guess self-awareness is good. You know, I wouldn't trade it for the world. So, yeah. So, so anyway. So, uh, X3, X3 really quick. Let's talk about X3 really quick before okay. we finish this hour really quick. I know we've had to stop a few times and yeah, so X3, um, what's going on? Yeah, so X3 is, um, yeah, I'm sorry, I was wiping, my dog is just throwing up, oh God. <laughs> but, ew. Okay, so um, X3, yeah, um, it's going to be my first time signing, and I'm so excited um, to be recognized as a, a content creator. Um, so I will have my own booth. And I will be signing for fans, um, posters, merchandise, all that good stuff. So I'll be mm-hmm. there um, this weekend, and then I'll, I'll be attending the red carpet and then the awards, the X Days Awards show. I was invited to that, so so happy to um, that I'm getting invited to all these wonderful things. And um, and uh, what times are you be, are you signing? Um, on let's see, on January thirteenth. Um, I'll be signing from 3 p.m. to 6.15. And then on the 14th, the next day, I'll be signing from 12 to 4. So those are the hours. Um, I'll probably post it uh, one more time on my Instagram story um, before um, the event in case. Um, and if you haven't bought your ticket yet, uh, use the code M A O R I X 3. And oh, it yeah. Will, um, make, it will, uh, you know, support Bella here in mm-hmm. order for her. Yeah. You, know. you can get um, 50% off of general admission. So, um, $24. Yeah. That would be $25. Yeah. If you put in my code. So, yeah. And, um, I think that's it. Um, if you want to go on my Instagram, hey y'all, um, I, I've I've seen the pictures she's using, and they're fire. No, <laughs> I feel like I look like an alien, but <laughs> that's me. you don't look like no dumb. I hate alien. to see myself. Yeah, I don't. I know you know that, right? I don't like to see myself on stuff. Yeah, well, you don't like no darn alien. This is crazy. Like I just want to just like scratch off the paint off the wall to have to see myself because. I don't know. It's cringy. I don't know what it is. Like, I really I like, can't like do it. the one you picked uh, with your red hair. I really like that one. Oh, the um, one of the signing ones. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're so- yeah we're, we're, we're talking about you're talking about signing at the X three. Yeah, I didn't know what picture. I thought you were talking about some Instagram pictures, but okay, yeah. I'm, no, I'm one. talking about you. Sign- That's why I said you're the one you picked to sign. <laughs> so oh, the- okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, it's uh, it's one with with like if you come there, and you look at her <laughs> pictures, it is one with her uh, she has her red hair that's going over her nipples. It's a really good picture, y'all. Oh my I god! Think, well, you know what? Actually, the red hair is not covering anything. I mean, well, it's it's over your breast. Um, no, actually, it's like completely exposed. It's over your breast. Oh, a little bit. I mean, <laughs> you show me that picture. You know I don't like seeing pictures of myself. You just show me that picture. I had to look. I was looking through my through my through my bigger <laughs> messages to me at once you were going to use, and I had to search and like uh, you talk about it's it's over it. I'm not saying that it, you you can't see you can you can see your you can see your nipples. And I mean, like, <laughs> like it's over no. it's over your titties though. Yeah, on the side, but yeah, but it's still over it. I don't know how I'm gonna get to get through all of this. I'm so well, like, I will be there. I will be there. Uh, day. So are you coming? Are you coming both days? Both or? days. Yeah. Okay. Just to make sure, like, well, just to make sure that I, uh, you know, see everybody that I know. Um, yeah. Right now, I'm working so on. Um, I'm working on, uh, you know, seeing who's signing when and to mm-hmm. make sure that 
I at least see my friends. Right. So I don't know like, where I'm gonna be at though. Uh, they, they you know, like, I don't know if from from what I from last year uh, when I was there, you don't necessarily pick your. Uh, well, I'm sorry. You pick when you get there. Oh, so once you, because they said come like an hour early to register. So yeah. is that when you pick your spot, I guess? Yeah, you come through and then when you're walking around, you pick your spot. Oh, got you. Got you. Okay. So like the only, like, the only place you can't be is like in the middle. So you're, you're on the circle. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't want to be upstairs because didn't you tell me that, that somebody goes up there? I said, like, I don't want to be able to see everybody, so I don't want to be hidden. I place. say, don't go upstairs because, mm -hmm. like, people go up there, but the way the upstairs was set up, it's, you know, some people didn't even know it was upstairs. Right. You know, okay. and, like, you know, I don't want you to miss out on, you know, potential right. money or meeting new fans. There's nothing okay. wrong with being upstairs, but it's just like, you know, it's a, it's lower, it's a lower traffic area. And yeah. Okay, okay. So are you gonna get a post this for me? <laughs> you gonna get a uh well you you know thanks I'm gonna say before we go, thank you so much for supporting my merchandise. I really love you for that. Oh yeah, she has, she, has, she has a merch store. You can't see it because I'm I don't know on video, but I have her cup in front of me. She has been she has oh, been drunk. God. She has been drank from <laughs> She has me drink from, and I have a so. I have a bottle I have a bottle opener, and her booty is just there. She's wearing a thong. She's wearing underwear and a th and a and a shirt though, but her thong is all out. Her booty's out. Oh God! I don't drink alcohol, but I got it because like people drink alcohol at my house, so it's like it's like good to have, you know. And you have other girls too, so that's good. You you you're amazing. You support us. You're an amazing person, and I appreciate you know, all the support that you've given me in my career thus far. Thank you. You know, from uh, CC um, PG to now. Yeah, yeah. That day I saw you stumbling in the Playboy Mansion. I know we talk about that every time, but I have to bring it up every single time. <laughs> so, and you know what? We have a history because there's no more Playboy Mansion, so we have to experience that together. So. What you say? You said what about Playboy Mansion? There's, it's, it's gone. I know. So we got to be able to, you know, have that be there. So that was cool. Yeah. I mean, I'm, like, I always wish I could go back. You know, the thing is, it's like, I've been there. Like, I always say the first time I went there, I drank alcohol, and mm -hmm. I, and when I went back the, that second time, when I went um back, whatever after that first time, I didn't drink alcohol anymore. Mm -hmm. so it was a full different experience because both times both times i went there i was a part of one of the um people who was throwing the event first uh -huh. time it was it was uh with uh cops care cancer and the second time was with the with a, with a separate organization and right. like like i think it's just like you would think if so if people knew that i was one people who got through it i would have you know more interaction with uh People, uh, the people, people who I'm interested in as far as uh, the opposite, the genders, um, and I wasn't getting no love. I was getting zero love. I was getting like random pictures with, uh, you know, like beautiful models, like uh, this model I know named, named Bella Maori, but like, <laughs> but but like I wasn't getting no love. So like I started, I started drinking more and more because whatever, but I didn't eat enough, and it was the first time I ever threw up from drinking alcohol. Yeah, that was the first. Yeah, like time you were literally like some, like you literally stumbled into my life, like literally. <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't because stumbling. You, that bit. you were stumbling. A, you were stumbling. The thing is, you I have a, like, I'm like this dude is drunk. I wasn't. I wasn't drunk. I wasn't drunk yet. You were intoxicated because you were stumbling. I was like, what the heck? Yeah, my um, my balance was starting to go off at that time, though. Yeah, your balance was way off. Yeah. No, I mean like my balance is off now. Mm -hmm. That was when it started. Oh, okay. I wasn't. Okay. I wasn't like. But at at that time, I didn't know what was going on. I didn't okay. know it was a, it was something on my spine that was messing me up. Right. That was okay, around the okay. time that it started, and mm -hmm. um, I wasn't used to whatever was going on yet. That was when the time it started. But I was I wasn't drunk at that time. 
But when me me throwing up that night, and then someone was like, "Do you want some cocaine? It'll make you feel better." Um, <laughs> that was did when I said, "You, you know what?" Huh? No, I don't. I, I knew, no, I don't. Never did it. But that was what someone offered me, and that was when, like I said, you know what? I'm going to quit this, and that and that's what led me to quit drinking alcohol. You quit it just because somebody offers you some coke. Mm-hmm. And then you were like, I, I can't, this is too much. Is, is, you, you felt like you were leading down the road, wrong road or what? You were spiraling? No, no, I got, I, I was never alcoholic. It was just like, just that I don't, like I'm saying, like I drank because uh-huh. I wasn't getting no love. And I basically, I didn't quit that night. I basically, you know, would only drink like one drink. And if that would be one drink or one and a half, and that's it. Right. Then to the point where on my birthday in 2010, I was like, you know what? I told my friend, this would be the last drink I ever I ever drink. So it was, huh? and I haven't drank since. Yeah. I've accidentally eaten like uh stuff that was infused with alcohol, like some gummy worms or something like that, but that wasn't mm-hmm. Me just grabbing an alcohol and just drinking. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What the hell? I had a great time as usual. Um, yeah. I hope I, I can't wait to see you on Friday. Um, hopefully you can find me in there somewhere. And so you see, you see, you're doing what time? I'm trying. I was looking at the at the schedule. That's what I was looking for. Uh, this, you know? On the first day, three p.m. to six fifteen, and on the second day, twelve to four. Okay, so you're you're in, you're in the first group. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who else? Who else is in that group? Do you know? Well, I'll talk to know. you later. I'll talk to you off. I'll talk to you when we get off. I mean, we could talk about. I have no idea who's in what. Um, you're the only person. And this podcast that, will go um, for like five hours if we keep going. <laughs> for one hour. Okay. You know, one hour. So, is there uh, is there any place you want to take your fans to check you out at? Your Twitter, your Instagram, your uh. Playboy Centerfold, your Snapchat, your your OnlyFans, mm. your uh Maybe. well no, I don't have an OnlyFans. I would anymore. just I would just I would just name it everything. Yeah, I, I just I got out of it because it just seemed like it was just flooded and like anybody was just going and getting one and which is okay, you know, to each his own, but I just I wanted to go a different direction. But um yeah, I you could check me out on Playboy Centerfold. Um all my links are on my Instagram if you go on my link tree. So if you go on my Instagram, it's Bella.Maori, M-A-O-R-I. And um, you can pretty much click on my link tree and all that will be on there. My campsite, um, Centerfold, Playboy Centerfold. Only, and, only question, you know, I have never seen her. I'm not, I'm not allowed to go on her campsites. No, you're not. <laughs> so you're whatever, not allowed. Whatever, whatever goes on there, I have no idea. <laughs> no, so, you're never going to know, so... So I no, suspect you can't go in there. You're like my uh, brother. You can't be. You can't I be suspect, on there. I suspect that it's fire. <laughs> I suspect that it's fire. Yeah, it's it's really it's really. I'm so thankful. Like God is really. I'm, I feel blessed. Um, so I'm just hoping that I want to get. I want to star in a movie, like a big film. That's my that's my goal. Um, this year. you mean a big movie mainstream. or movie movie? Huh? Because like, huh? Mainstream film, you know, mainstream. So that's what I've been. Like, I've been auditioning for like crazy. It's just, it's really hard because what we talked about earlier and just some other things. I'll tell you off, off when we get off. But we can talk um, about it like that's what we're talking about. This is the social injustice. I know, but you know, I don't want to. Forever, forever, ever. <laughs> like, you can talk how long you want to talk but... about because you know the fans are out there listening. They're loving what we're discussing. I mean, um, it's just difficult to book roles that I, the role that I want to get. Like there was this one role that it basically wanted me to insinuate that I was giving a guy a head underneath the desk, and I was like, I'm not gonna do that. like I. Like, why is it that we can't just have a role like a regular white actress would have? You know, it's always like either a prostitute mm-hmm. or, you know, when you're overly sex. So I just, 
I'm just praying and hoping <laughs> that I can get me, you know, a really good role, <clears throat> like a TV series, or um, I want to get like a you know, feature film. That's that's my goal because I, I did an indie feature film. I think we talked about that earlier, but that was like an independent movie. So not a lot of people saw it, but it was a great experience. But I want to like I want to go big. So that's what I'm hoping for. I understand. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I hope that you get that. And um, I really wish the best for you. Thank you so much. I have such a good team. And just to give a shout out to all of them, all the people that have been working hard for me. And I mean, they are amazing. And um, oh, I wanted to say, too, I have so much stuff coming up this year. I'm going to be at LA Fashion Week in March. Okay. So I'm really excited about that. I'm not walking any of the shows where I just got invited. So I get to see what goes on. So, um, I'm I have a question. Have you, got, have you got your X3 outfit yet? Oh, God. You know, I'm so stressed out. Yeah, I have like so many because I, I just went on the other, uh, the Joe Mata podcast and he asked me, you know, about my red carpet dress. But X3 outfits were a whole new thing. Yes, I do. I have two that I'm contemplating, but I'll have, I'll know for sure. Um, it's closer to the time. I'm just, don't know. <laughs> but yeah. Sure. Well, no, I mean, well, one, I'm still waiting on one part to come. Um, partial of it. Partial, mm -hmm. uh, I'm waiting for another part of it. Mm -hmm. And um, the other two, well, one is like this chain. It's really cool. It's like a chain dress. Because I mean, you can still let me see it. Like, you're describing Well, no, it. I can't. It's like, it's a, uh, I have to show you. Well, you can see when you come. I, it's like, I don't have it right here. Um, It's in my closet and stuff. So, uh. You have to see when you come, but it's really, it's, it's cute. Yeah, but that's so long away. Oh, God, no, it is not. That's like, let's see, what's today, Sunday? Oh, God, it's only a few days away. And I'm, I'm going down on Thursday. Going I'm gonna down? Go, I'm going to stay at a hotel. Mm-hmm. So I don't have to keep going back and forth and back and you forth. You could have stayed there. here, but okay. You didn't invite me to do that. You did not. <laughs> Oh, I really didn't. Well, oh well, it's fine. I got my reservation and all that, so it's cool. Yeah, like, yeah, you said, well, you didn't invite me. You didn't ask. <laughs> I know, right? I know. Tell we we, we argue like people. brothers too, but you know, I love you. Um, I don't, I don't but yeah, I'm gonna stay at the. I don't know anymore. You yelled. You yelled at me today. And, and know, yesterday. Wait a minute! I just told you how amazing you are for like fifteen minutes straight. Oh, I, I am. <laughs> um, I am yeah, no, I'm just gonna. With huh? you, Bella Mayori. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? I am joking with you, Bella Mayori. You know, I can't. You know, I'm crazy. I can't take. I don't ever know when someone is playing or not. So, anyways, I think I'm too damn serious. No, but everybody, um, please check out um Bella Mayori. She's a fantastic human being. I've known her for almost my entire time in LA. And um I've always been passionate seeing like everything that she's doing. I'm proud of all of her success and all the pro projects that I've seen her uh put together and seen her do and in every aspect that she tackles, she does it um very well in it with flying colors. So Aww. make sure if you come this weekend to X3, you get her autograph, you take a picture with her. Um, if you're if you're a Sigma or a Zeta, you know, you uh lock up, you know, with her, you know, she she you know, that would uh, like if you've never seen this woman smile, she she'll let out a big, a big, big uh cheese. And, no, <laughs> and, he's so crazy. It's and, and like man, it's a big old cheese. You say, it's a cute cheese. You just have to make sure she got to keep it on for the picture because she'll get all serious really quick. So, and <laughs> she's and like and like when you see her, she's a little shy. She's a little shy. You got to break through that shyness because everything will come out. You got to break break that wall down, you know. And yeah, so make sure you come out and support her. You go out and support her channels. You show her the love that she deserves. If you want to check us out, we are the Burbank Misfits on Instagram, Burbank Misfits on Twitter. And um, Facebook, you want to check me out, I'm R-A-W-S-T-A-R-R -R on Instagram and on um, Twitter. 
Um, again, Bella Mayori, thank you for coming on. You're a joy, a pleasure. Um, sorry we had to push this interview 20 minutes. I had issues this morning, but we had a fun time as always. Uh, and I look forward to all you do in the next time you come on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Love you so much. Thank you for having me. Always. Right. Bye. Oh, we'll see. Oh, by the way, we'll see y'all next week. <laughs>